with the most sweeping tax changes in history, everyone's asking questions. Can I still continue to take my IRA? What's deductible? Ah, too confusing. Here's where you'll get all your answers, because our people know the new tax laws. They'll save you every dollar possible, so you'll get the biggest refund you have coming. Agent hey, Outblock, I know that they'd be there. They'd be there to put their hands over my shoulder and put me at ease. <laughs> if there's ever a time for H&R Block, it's now. Don't face the new tax laws alone. Settling the old west took courage and spirit. The courage to be the first, the spirit to go where no one has gone before. Grant Road Industrial Center has that pioneer spirit. The first industrial center in Tucson. The first to offer a complete child care facility and full service restaurant on site. Experience and knowledge to plan for the future. Grant Road Industrial Center, here to stay for tomorrow. Call us, 792-3113. It's the World Wrestling Federation returning to the Tucson Community Center on Monday, February 29th at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are available at the box office and all Dillard's department stores. Matches include Demolition taking on Billy Jack Haynes and Ken Patera. Hercules will collide with the Ultimate Warrior. Then, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, and Virgil with Andre the Giant in their corner. Meet Bam, Bam Bigelow, and Hulk Hogan, February 29th at the Community Center. Kiga 9 News at Noon with Bud and Jay. Good evening. I'll be back here with Nightline again tomorrow evening, but tonight we're going live to Iowa where my colleagues Peter Jennings and David Brinkley will have the latest report on the Iowa caucuses. <laughs> Reporting from the Iowa State Capitol in Des Moines, Peter Jennings and David Brinkley. Good evening. It is the uh, first big hurdle for the presidential candidates. And there have been a couple of major news stories here in Des Moines tonight, or actually throughout Iowa. The big story really is on the Republican side, where ABC News is now projecting not only that Senator Bob Dole of Kansas is going to be the winner, which was no great surprise to people who've been watching this campaign closely, but that Pat Robertson, the Reverend Pat Robertson, was going to come in second, beating George Bush. That, with 96% of the Republican caucuses reporting in, that is what we are projecting now. Robert Dole first, 37% of the vote, Pat Robertson second, 24%, and George Bush with 19%. Let's look a little more deeply into the Republican ranks. Jack Kemp with 11%, Pete DuPont with 7%. 96% of those Republican caucuses having reported in. And no preference, which is like uncommitted on the Democratic side of these caucuses. And at the bottom of the list with 440 votes, Alexander Haig, who gave up on this state some considerable time ago. Welcome, David Brinkley. Nice to have you here again. Thank you. Thank you. It was a surprise, Robertson. You know he did go to church five times yesterday. Might have helped. Now, Congressman Gebhardt is here. What, um, what worked for you? couldn't have been everything you said. What did you say that you think worked the best? I think people here and across the country think they're losing control of their economic future. Wages are beginning to decline. So when I talk about trade and agriculture, energy, the budget, the whole clump of issues that has to do with economic progress, I think people are really tuning in and listening. They want to know how we're going to do this. Before we go any farther with the congressman, let's take a look at the Democratic side in total, because, of course, we are projecting that Congressman Richard Gephardt of Missouri is the winner in the Democratic caucus tonight. On the first wave, we're still only getting one of two waves of Democratic voting in the caucuses, but we're also projecting that he's going to win on the second. Paul Simon, senator from Illinois, coming in second, and Michael Dukakis, the governor of Massachusetts, who is also standing by at this moment to talk to us. And Jesse Jackson, who's quadrupled his vote since the last campaign here in 1980. Bruce Babbitt, with 9%, a campaign that really did not get off the ground at any particular time. And then Uncommitted, uh, bear in mind that Uncommitted beat Jimmy Carter here in 1976. And that is the way it looks on the Democratic side, with Gary Hart getting 888 votes for 1%. And Mario Cuomo got 222 votes, though I guess, as everybody knows, the only people who have him in the campaign are those wishful thinkers who wish he would enter. Let's go back to Congressman Gephardt. Um, a lot of people say that, that you can't pull off in other states what you pulled here, which was, as they described it, the politics of grievance. You got everybody mad here about being hurt 
particularly by foreign trade. Can you pull it off as you go down the road? I think so, because I think people everywhere feel the same thing. What's happening is at the end of the month, people have less money to spend, less money in their paycheck than they did a few months ago. They see good jobs leaving the United States and going elsewhere. And even in New Hampshire, where the unemployment rate is very low, the people feel the same concern. So when I talk about trade and a new economic policy for this country that will mean better jobs and better wages, I think it goes everywhere. Most everybody on the Democratic side who campaigned against you called you the bionic man and said you'd shift your position to suit the environment. Well, you know, I've been in public life for 15 years now, and what I've tried to do and what I think any good public servant should do is change when it's right to change. I'd rather change and be right than be rigid and be wrong, and that's what I've tried to do. Yep. And I think any public servant ought to do that. Now, when you talk about trade, you've done very well with a $38,000 Chrysler, haven't you? $48,000. No, $48,000 Chrysler. Well, it makes the point. It gets the uh, idea across to people simple. that trade's unfair. Very today. simple, clear idea. Now, Governor Dukakis is downtown listening to you. And if you would like to discuss his uh, result tonight and compare it to your result and vice versa, Governor, welcome. Thanks for coming. David, nice to be with you. You, you came just about roughly where people expected Governor Dukakis. Everybody thought you'd be pretty much bunched up at the top. Um, right. How much of a challenge do you think Congressman Gephardt's going to be to you in New Hampshire? Oh, I'm taking Dick and Paul and everybody very seriously, uh, uh, Peter. I uh, am going to be running hard to win. I won the bronze tonight. I hope I'm going to win the gold next week. But it's going to be back home, and it's going to be close, and... Uh, we're going to work very hard, but I feel very good about the results tonight. Uh, you know, 10 months ago, nobody in Iowa really knew what a Dukakis was, let alone who I was. And here I am in the thick of the fight uh, out here demonstrating that this is a national candidacy. And I'm looking forward to the contest this coming week and to that primary in New Hampshire next Tuesday. Do you think that uh, Congressman Gephardt can go on uh, campaigning as the quintessential <laughs> insider playing the quintessential outsider? Well, I'll let the uh, people of New Hampshire and the people of this country decide that. For myself, I'm going to run a strong, positive campaign. I don't think the people of New Hampshire or the people of America want to know what I think of him or he thinks of me. I think they want to know what kind of a president we're going to be and whether we can provide that strong leadership that we must have. And I bring the kind of experience that's been tested with debts and deficits and hard economic times. I know how to build a strong economy and those good jobs at good wages that Dick talks about. And that's the kind of leadership I hope I can bring to the White House. The, the, the congressman really did earn his votes here the old-fashioned way. You earned them. You were 142 days in this state, more than anybody else. What do you do about money from here on out? Well, we've done well at raising money. I think we're going to continue to do that. And the reason we have is that I think people are looking for someone who brings an economic vision for this country. And so we've raised money all over the country. And I think we'll continue to do that, and we'll have adequate talk, funds. Talk nuts and bolts with us just before you go. You and your campaign staff have been sitting down tonight talking about Big Mo, the momentum over the next seven days. Define what you think it is. Well, any time you get a good start out of Iowa, it helps. When you look at history, uh, other candidates, Jimmy Carter in 76, Gary Hart in 1984, was able to take a good result in Iowa and then continue it on through. I think we can do that. I've got 80 members of the House who are supporting me. 35 of them are in the South. They're working hard in their states. And you think you're going to get a lot of your money out of the South? We have so far, and we'll continue to do well everywhere. Governor Dukakis, according to polls, pretty much owns New Hampshire. Do you, uh, you think you can com compete with him there? He's clearly... It's next door to his... It's where Massachusetts people for years have been going to buy their whiskey. <laughs> because it's cheap. Can you compete with him? He's clearly the front runner. Um, I think I can come in second and do a good job. Can you use the same speeches there you've used here? Absolutely. I'm going to go there tomorrow at noon and give a speech that I would give in Des Moines. In fact, the same one I'm going to give in Des Moines tonight. I would like to ask the two of you one, one last question. How surprised were you at Pat Robertson's showing? Everyone else was astonished. I'm surprised. It didn't show in the polls, but obviously he had organized people who really came out in the, in the conditions we had here today, and, and I think it's an impressive uh, show for him. Governor Dukakis, did it astonish you? Well, it didn't astonish me, David. I think what we've had is quite a spectacle over these last several weeks of uh, Mr. Bush and Mr. Dole bashing each other around, uh, not addressing real issues, tearing into each other, and I think a lot of people were disgusted. And frankly, I think what this shows is that the Reagan presidency has papered over very deep divisions within the Republican Party. I think it's good news for the Democrats, but more than that, I think what it says is that a strong, positive, confident campaign and a strong, positive, confident presidency is what this country wants, and 
That's what I hope I can bring to the campaign and to the White House. As I'm sure does the Congressman. Thank you very much, Governor, for joining us. Thank you, Congressman, Thank for you. joining us. See you in New Hampshire. You One reminder, the ABC News poll for New Hampshire at the moment shows that Mr. Gephardt and Senator Simon are running in second place almost together behind Governor Dukakis. Clearly in the next seven days, as the Congressman has implied, he's going to get the bump that you get coming out of Iowa. We'll be back in just a moment. Live from Des Moines, Iowa, this is ABC News coverage of the 88 vote, brought to you tonight by Apple Computer. Helen, I just looked at these numbers. They're pretty grim. Those are computer costs. Well, didn't we pay for those systems last quarter? We did, but those are training costs. Well, let me get this straight. We're spending more on training than we did on the computers? Boston doesn't show these costs. They use a different system. So? Apparently with their computers, the people can train themselves. If you're like me with an irritable bowel, stressful days can mean diarrhea one day, constipation on another. You see, if there's too much water in the intestines, you have diarrhea. Not enough constipation. Now there's new Equilactin. A single medicine for diarrhea or constipation. Equilactin tablets help restore the proper water balance to relieve both problems. So with an irritable bowel, when stressful days mean diarrhea or constipation, Equilactin helps me feel like a human being again. Quiche. Country. France. I love the charm of country French furniture. You do. Or the splendor of a Georgian court. That sounds great. But we'd probably be happier with something contemporary but elegant, like Canova. <laughs> You're either hinting for a trip around the world. Or a trip to Ethan Allen. A world of styles, each uniquely American. Now on sale at Ethan Allen. Reese's Carriage House, 5621 North Oracle Road. <laughs> Free from club. Free from club. Flexible conduit. Flexible conduit. Smoke alarm. Smoke alarm. Smoke alarm. Smoke alarm. Smoke alarm. Whether your do-it-yourself projects are small or monstrous, Henry Electric can help from cooler motors to batteries. Henry Electric is your shopping center for everything electric. Master, I found it. You've made my day. Thanks, Henry Electric. Henry Electric, your shopping center for everything electric. Tonight's Iowa caucus results could mean a lot to next week's battle in New Hampshire. Find out about it tomorrow on ABC's World News This Morning, before Good Morning America. Just before Congressman Gephardt gets entirely out of this beautiful state capitol building, a reminder that not only did he do 142 days in this state, which was longer, David, than any other candidate, but he had on the Democratic side what was widely regarded as the smartest television campaign. He started at exactly the right moment about before Christmas. And by the time we got around well, to the last week here... And people were stayed home. Exactly. Looking yeah. at television. Yeah, and he really did uh, appear to have that more brilliantly than any other Democratic He's candidate. He's done a very good job. Now, as to, uh, as to how they won, uh, let's go to Lynn Schur, our media numbers analyst in New York, and ask her to put together just who voted for these men and why. Lynn? Well, Let Peter, the Democrats uh, stuck together a lot more closely than the Republicans tonight. But Richard Gephardt's narrow victory did have a clear explanation. He won the farm and rural vote, and that is what put him over the...